My name is Hachizimana Minani Andre. I am a trainer in the culinary art trade. So today we have a session which is called vegetable pizza. As you see here, students, we have vegetable pizza as a recipe. Our pizza is classified in yeast do products. Let us start by ingredients of vegetable pizza. Vegetable pizza is composed by three main types. The first is a dough. A dough is composed by flour or flour, 500 gram. We have water, cold water of course, 325 milliliter of cold water. We have a salt, teaspoon of salt. When we mean a teaspoon is that, is this. This is teaspoon and this is a tablespoon. So we will use this one. Then we have seven gram of instant yeast, as you, you see. Also, we have tomato sauce. Tomato sauce is composed by the many types of ingredients, including fresh tomato or tomato puree, tomato paste. We have uh, green pepper or poivre. We have uh, bay leaf. We have onion, changujitunguru. We have oil and we have carrots. So after we have also pizza top up or pizza fillings or pizza or pizza fillings. Pizza fillings we have green pepper. Here we have green pepper. Mixed with carrots, fresh carrot. Also we have tomatoes. As you see, tomatoes. We have onions which are sweeted. Also we have chopped mushrooms. Also are sweet, sweeted in it in the butter. After ingredients, we have, here I have extra flour or flour used for dusting on my pizza. Also I have black olives for garnishing my pizza. I have my tomato which I will use for garnishing a pizza. I have also mint mint leaf. So, after showing each ingredients, it is time for starting our process. Let me put this on aside for starting our process. I think everyone is following me. But before proceed our pizza, here I have tools and equipments which will help me to make a perfect pizza. I have pizza making machine. This is will help us to, to toast or to, to bake our pizza or to roast our pizza. Here I have parrot knife. We help me to cut a dough. Here I have a rolling pin. A rolling pin will help me to roll our, pea, our pizza. Here I have pastry well or pizza cutter. This helps us to cut pizza before serving. Here I have verado. Here I have tablespoon. And here I have a lifter. Also here I have a scare. You remember I have told you that Without measurement, you can't get a perfect, a perfect pastry or bakery. The pastry or bakery 
it's all about measurement. The reason why we use this scale, digital scale. Also here I have different pans, but I prefer to use this one. We help me to, to toss our tomatoes, our carrots, our vegetables. So let me start. In the time I'm waiting for insert, let me open those ingredients to make sure that we have to start to make our dough. The first process is to make a dough. First, we starting by dissolve a yeast into cold water. Yes, you see, this is instant yeast, seven gram. Yes, you, you mix until dissolved. You mix until well dissolved. Also, time of dissolving this yeast, you can also mix dry ingredients. When we say dry ingredients, including flour or flour, flour, then add one teaspoon, tablespoon, teaspoon of salt. Then you mix. After mixing, you have to make a well in the center. Like this, you make a well in the center. Then after, you add liquid of this liquid into a well in the center of dry ingredients, as you see. Then we start our process for combining those ingredients together. I think everyone, I hope everyone is watching what I'm doing here. You have to use your fingertips. Then you mix. You mix till well combined, as you see. This process is called mixing, mixing process, where we mix all ingredients, dry ingredients and liquid ingredients. In the pastry and bakery, there are many terminologies, so you have to be careful or on what I'm doing uh, and what I'm saying. So, you need where you, you mix till where combined, as you see. When a do stick on your fingers, you have to add some extra flour. After well combined, it is time to remove from 
insert or container, then you, you start the process called kneading. Kneading, you have to dust a floor on table, on working table, then you start the process for kneading. Kneading process. Kneading process, you do like this, then you pour fold. Pour and fold using a palm of your hand. Pour, fold. until you get smooth dough. But you remember, remember that I have told you that you have to avoid over kneading of dough because your dough will become tough, which will change your recipe. So you have to make sure that your dough you need it where? You mix and you knead until you get a smooth dough, as I have told you. You continue the process until you get a smooth dough. Then, our do is done, as you see. It is elastic and it is well combined. So, you dust the floor, then you do like this. Our do is well done. So it is time to, to shaping. Shaping means to cut your do into portions. These portions, this do, we will make at least four portions. One portion, use this pallet knife. One portion. Two portion, three portion, three portion. After get portions, after getting portion, you have to take your tray, then to that you have to dust with a floor. You have to dust with a flour. Then you take your do portion do you do like this. You flatten it. Then you do like this. Like this. Then after. You use your palm and your thumb of your hand for lowering, for where rounding your, your do, as you see. Palm and thumb. You do like this. Yes. You do like this. Then you put it on baking tray on a tray then also 
you take, you continue the process. Do like this, then. You round. Rounding, as you see, till you get a ball. You put it here. I have told you that we have to make four portions. Yes. The last one. After this process of rounding, now it is time for roasting. We list the dough for rise it. Remember that we have add instant yeast which allow our dough to rise until it became double. This process is take at least two hours. So let us go for raising our our dough <laughs> after 2 hours now our dough is become in double double in size as you see then you take your Do then you have to be prepared. Yes, brush with oil. Is it is really soft and smooth as you see. There is no need of rolling pin. You can do it by your hand. As you see, is very soft. Pizza will be wonderful, delicious. I know. As you see, is very elastic. Huh? Then you brush your machine. Then you put pizza dough like this. Then you pour. Then until. It reach on this area. Yes. You see, it is very soft and smooth. If you haven't machine you can use oven. The oven you have to preheat it at least 10 minutes before making process. You preheat on 2 220 degrees Celsius or 220 degrees Celsius at least 10 minutes before baking process. Then after, as you see, we have our pizza making machine. You lab it, you lab a do in it, this machine, as you see. Then, here I have tomato sauce, as I have made it before. Tomato sauce for improving 
the nutrients of our pizza. Also, tomato sauce will help the pizza to be soft. So, you take sauce, this sauce, then you blush or you put on top of this pizza. Pizza do, yes. As you see, This pizza is very simple. You can make it at home. If you have an oven or this machine, you can make this pizza. You make sure that tomato sauce is rich on both sides, as you see. Yes, we have already put our tomato sauce. Then, it is time for adding our pizza toppings or fillings. So remember that I have told you that we use, we, we prefer to make vegetable pizza for vegetarian. Pizza, everyone, this pizza, everyone can eat and can make it and can eat. It is good for children, for elder people, and for teenagers. Yes. Here I have toasted green peppers and carrots. You put it. Let me wash my hand before, then I come. It is better to use your hand for feeding. The reason why I'm going, I'm coming from, for washing my hand. Put those feelings on both sides, or on both sides, as you see. Yes, we have mushrooms are also toasted. Yes, after top up with mushrooms, it is time for adding tomatoes. Those tomatoes and Green pepper are cut into Macedoine shape. You, you know, we have different shapes of, we have different kinds of cut, cutting. So, according, according to you, you can choose one shape you can use. Here I have also sweated onion, sweated onions. Yes, after we add olive oil for avoiding drying, dryness of our pizza. The olive oil is good oil. There is no cholesterol, cholesterol in the, its composition. Everyone can use this oil rather than using other kind of oil. So, then it is time for roasting our pizza. Here we have indicator in this machine. When you plug, you switch on. Here, you switch on you will see a sign of right here. If pizza is done, 
the machine is automatically, the light is off. So it means your pizza is done. So we go for roasting our pizza. Yes, we go. Yes, we plug. Yes, then we switch. We switch. If our pizza done, the light will switch off. So, there is no disturbance of this machine. It is automatic. I will come back to see if the light is switched off. Yes. In a way, when our pizza is being roasted, it is time for make cleanliness of our area because we have to avoid cross-contamination of food, as, as you know. We have to clean, clean as you go. You can use this one, then I clean this kind of dust in order to make sure that our food is not affected by contaminant. So our pizza in machine, if you haven't that machine, you can bake on, in the oven on 220 degrees Celsius. But you have to preheat the oven before at 10 minutes. You bake it at least seven minutes for oven. If you use, you prefer to use oven. But me, I prefer to use that machine because it is automatic one. Okay. Then I leave my area clean, as you see. Yes, as you see. Our pizza is done. You see here, the right is switch off. Means our pizza is done. So it is time for dressing it. Yes. Wow. Yes, it is time for dressing our pizza, as you see. It is time for dressing our pizza. As you see, you, can, you, you cut it using this tool, which is called pizza cutter or pastry wheel. So you have to do like this. Yes. Also in the center here. Like this. Yes. Like this. Now, here we have a tongue. If customer prefer to, to take like this, to dress like this, you can take it straightly to the serving area. Or you have to, to dress on dressing plate, like this. But in a way, it attracts a customer. Yes, it is too hard. Oh my God. Uh -huh. Yes, like this. You take it, then you dress.
You dress in a way it attracts a customer, your customers or consumer. Yes. Then let me show show you how you can dress a tomato. You take your tomato, then you do like this for making a flower or rose. You do like this. Ale, I need a cutting board. Yes. Yes. Then you take a peel of tomato, then you fold it. As you see, you fold it. You fold it from here, then you fold it. As you see here, as you see, fold, you fold, you fold, then you fold like that, then you get a lily beautiful flower as you see put here i'm just garnishing my pizza the purpose of garnishing is to make is to attract a customer you can put like this like this then you add some black olives on top of your pizza. Uh -huh. Our dish of today is vegetable pizza for vegetarian. Let me tell, tell you the purpose of nutrients we found in this pizza. This pizza, as you know, as you see, as you have watched, we use a flour or a flour. The flour, the flour is composed by starch. The starch is coming is kind of sugar. So the starch, this pizza will help our body to to produce energy. Then also we have some vegetables. Vegetables are one of nutrients which protect the body from disease. So if you take this pizza, your, your body will have power for fighting for disease. So, our pizza is ready and we are going to test. I'm going to test if my pizza is good or not. 
I use fork and knife. But you can use also your hand because pizza you you can you can use your hand for testing. Let me use my hand is let me test. <laughs> it's very delicious, fantastic. Let me test again. <laughs> there is the salt inside. The dough was very perfect. If you take this pizza, you will come fat as me. Mm. Thank you for watching. The next session, session will be how to make a perfect, a perfect pancake with honey. Uh, my telephone number is Zero seven eight forty one twenty one three six four. So, for any for any question or suggestion, you can call me or write me on WhatsApp by this. Let me repeat this number: zero seven eight twenty one forty one three. Six and four. See you and stay at home. Thank you. You are welcome.